Hello everyone, my name is Joshua Winkins, and welcome back to another video. If you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. In this video, I want to go over how to export videos for IGTV in Final Cut Pro 10. Now as you can see right here, here is a video that I've already uploaded to YouTube, Facebook, and IGTV. Now, a couple of things to go over is first of all, why would you want to upload to IGTV? Well, if you didn't know this, Instagram does not allow you to upload videos longer than 60 seconds. IGTV allows you to upload videos that are longer than one minute. Also, IGTV videos are actually better quality than if you just upload a video to Instagram like you would a photo. So if you, even if you follow all the export settings for Instagram and your video still looks awful, that's just because Instagram does not handle videos very well. So IGTV was introduced to help people who make videos because obviously Instagram is a photo first platform and YouTube is a video first platform. But IGTV allows Instagram to definitely become more of a video um, platform. But again, you cannot upload a video shorter than 60 seconds. So if your video is shorter than 60 seconds, unfortunately the quality is not going to be that good. Okay, so there's two different formats you can upload to IGTV. There's a horizontal and a vertical one. Now how you create this um, project is you want to go to Final Cut Pro, head over here to File. Click on File, you want to go on New, then you want to head over to Project. File, New, Project. And then let's just call this IGTV um, Test um, 1. Now you're going to want to head over here to Format. Under Format, go to Custom. Once you're in the Custom, now obviously this is perfectly fine. Because this is the normal YouTube format, so this is going to work fine. I just put it to 24 frames per second, you don't have to. Okay, so this is the first format, the horizontal format. So let's go ahead and press on OK. So here we go, IGTV Test. Now, obviously, as you can see right here, we could just import the footage right here. Boom, W, and there you go. You have created your first IGTV project. This is the horizontal one. So let's go ahead, head over here to Export. Once you're in Export, you want to go over here to Export File. Settings, make sure it's H.264. Go to Info. You can name it whatever you want, but remember, remember H.264. Go ahead and click on Next. And there we go, click the downloads or wherever you want to save. And now as you can see right here, it will start exporting. Now it'll probably take a couple minutes or so, and the next time I do with a, a vertical version, I, I won't do it a full two minutes because I don't want I don't want to wait this entire time to render. But like I said before, this is the first one. So this is the normal horizontal format, the 16 by 9 format. This is the format that you're just always going to see. It's just the normal horizontal format. Um, so let's wait till um, the video is exported, trying to buy a little bit of time because it export takes, my computer is not the fastest, um, but yeah, that's literally pretty much how you do it. I won't do two minutes next time, so don't worry, you don't have to hear me rambling for two straight minutes. Um, we'll wait for it to export, and then I'll actually do the vertical one next, just so I can get this out of the way. Uh, as you can see right here, there we go, it has exported. So now let's go ahead and create the vertical version. So what you're going to want to do is head over here, so this is the first version, IGTV test. Let's head over here to file new project, and then you want to head over here, let's just call this IGTV test 2, go over to format, custom, and then here you're going to switch it. So 1080 by 1920. Uh, as far as I know, this should work, but we'll find out. Um, so there you go. That's what you're going to do. 8, 1080 by 1920. And there you go. You have created a, ver a vertical version. Now this is pretty much just like um, Instagram stories. That's literally pretty much the exact format. Okay, now like I, like I promised before, let's make this like 12 seconds. Oh wait, no. I forgot. IGTV does not allow you to upload a video um, shorter than one minute. So unfortunately, we're going to have to wait a little bit longer for the export time. But... That's what it takes. Uh, so there you go. So make sure the video is, again, the video has to be over a minute. I almost made that mistake. But remember, the video has to be longer than 60 seconds. So for example, you look at this and say, okay, well, that format doesn't look good. Well, you're going to want to head over here to um, the effects panel, which is right here. Then you want to go over here to scale 
and scale all and you're going to want to scale it until it fits now again you could chop it up and depending on where everything fits in the video you may want to use the transform tool i'll show you a little bit again unfortunately i have to wait for it to render um that's just what you if you've never done the video editing before you know the pain of waiting for things to render but you can see right here let's go ahead and play it right here and there we go it's in the vertical format okay so as you can see right here let's say you one thing is all center or something you could just head over here to the transform tool Actually, let's give a better let's give a better example and you could just head over here to the transform tool and recenter and reposition it now what but what if you reposition this and but the rest of the video is off go ahead head over here press command b use the blade tool and cut it up into different um, parts until everything is formatted correctly but there we go there is the vertical version um, 1080 by 1920 the other one is 1920 by 1080 it just depends on which one you want i encourage you to make it horizontal because i think that's probably the more common one but there we go right there and there we go so we've created the horizontal and we've created the vertical version um, for igtv again we got to wait for it to render a little bit until we can finally um, wait for this video to export now i'm also going to create the thumbnail version um, for igtv so there we go there's the vertical version now let's create a thumbnail okay so what you're going to do is head back over to file new project and let's name this IGTV um, thumbnail. So there we go. And now I have the dimensions right here. They should be correct. If I mess it up, we can just refix it. But it should, it'll be up on screen before 92. That should be correct. 492 um, by uh, 762. Um, if I'm reading those numbers, those sh that should be correct. But we'll find out. Um, so. 492 by six by 762 that should be good but who knows i may have messed it up a little but we're gonna find out in about a minute or two okay so here is the thumbnail um so let's go ahead and just i don't know let's let's take a let's take a frame maybe like i don't know this maybe let's try to take this frame right here go ahead and just import it and let's find a frame. Let's say there is the frame. We're gonna go ahead and click on it. Go ahead, click on scale all. We wanna scale it up. And this is just an example, so I don't know. Let's say this. We let that to be the image just for right now. That's just an example. Wait for it to export. Go over here to the export settings. Click on save current frame. There we go. We have saved the current frame. And we'll find out. Um, if it's correct once it finally renders so I probably won't actually show you how to um, completely okay so that should be good but uh, like I said before we'll find out what you want to head over here is open up Instagram um, on your desktop browser uh, obviously sign in go to profile ones are in profile wait for it to render a little bit and we'll load then we'll go over here to the section called IGTV once you're in IGTV as you can see here my IGTV videos let's head over here to upload once you're in upload click on here drag and drop and now we'll go to downloads and you could upload either the IGTV test one or you could upload the IGTV let's let's try the uh, test two um, let's just go ahead and upload I think I can cancel it but we'll find out but there you go um, so there you go so as you can see right here it's waiting to re waiting to render but there you go as you can see right here now let's click on edit and let's pretty make sure I'm pretty sure this is gonna work um, let's find the thumbnail okay let's cross our fingers and yes it works so you're gonna want to use um, those dimensions the dimensions are be, gonna be up on screen you can edit the title you can edit the description um, you could post it to your Facebook page and IGTV and you could also post um, a preview right here and I'll show you what that what I mean by that now I think I can exit out of this let's just leave this uh, go back to Instagram so we know the vertical version ver uh, vertical version works it's kind of a tongue twister okay so let's go back IGTV go ahead head over to upload and let's upload 
Uh, which one we did? Okay, let's try this one. Horizontal one. Okay, there we go. Yep, so the dimensions are correct. There's the horizontal and there's the vertical one. And I showed, showed you the dimensions with the thumbnail. Again, it's going to be up on screen. At the title description, uh, if you want to also put it to your Facebook page, you can. But what does it mean by post preview? Let's exit back out of this. Obviously, you want to wait for it um, to upload, but that's just that's just uploading a video. And let's show you what I mean by post a preview. Now, this does not work on um, desktop. It'll have to you 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 only be able to see it on your phone. But as you can see right here, here's the IGTV icon. It, it'll show you a preview right here. So it'll show you in here, obviously, but you can also make sure that you have a preview showing on your page. And if you're on the phone version, it'll show you like 15 seconds, and then it'll ask you to continue if you want to keep on watching um, the IGTV video. But anyways, hopefully you enjoyed um, this little tutorial. Again, the dimensions are going to be up on screen. Hopefully this video was helpful and informative. Don't forget to consider hitting that subscribe button if you enjoy watching Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. Remember, I upload new Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every single day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. See you guys in the next one. Peace.